everyone and thank you for joining us on Intense Technologies Q3 and 9M FY18 Earnings Conference Call. We have with us Mr. C.K. Shastri, Founder and Managing Director of the company, uh, Mr. Jayan Dwarkana, CEO, and Mr. H.M. Nayak, Head of Finance and Administration. Uh, we will begin the call with brief opening remarks from the management, following which we will have the forum open for an interactive question and answer session. Before we begin, um, I would like to point out that some statements made in this call may be forward-looking and a disclaimer to this effect has been included in the earnings announcement shared with all of you earlier. I would now like to invite Mr. Shastri to make his uh, opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for taking time to join us in this earnings call. Really appreciate it. Uh, to begin with, I think I'll just give you for those people who do not know what we are as a company. We are an enterprise software products company based out of Hyderabad having uh, presence uh, in about uh, over 45 countries uh, with Fortune 500 customers using our platform. We, have, we are leaders in, in the telecom vertical and insurance, life insurance in India. Uh, to uh, make it very brief, uh, yes, 2017 has been a very, very challenging year for us, uh, uh, especially because, you know, we, what we had uh, envisaged the game-changing managed services deal had run into some, uh, you know, uh, unforeseen uh, things due to the statutory guidelines which came in. Uh, that has really uh, impacted our uh, uh, our performance as we as we have come in, but however, uh, we have taken several steps to ensure that you know uh, we we march forward uh, positively ahead. Uh, we have taken up steps on uh, cost optimization. We started engaging a lot you know uh, with the system integrators to increase our footprint across global services. Despite uh, these, uh, you know, investment constraints, you know, we continue to pursue cloud and I'm glad to tell you that one of the world's largest uh, satellite company has uh, take, chosen us uh, on cloud for their platform and we are also uh, uh, looking ahead uh, to see, ensure that the year is uh, profitable for us. Uh, with this, uh, I would uh, like to uh, hand over uh, the, the thing to Q&A. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on your touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. To ask a question at this time, participants may press star and one on your touchstone phone. We have a first question from the line of Kushal K, individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, could you please explain uh, the dispute on invoices uh, that you have mentioned in your uh, results? Yeah, you know, the, typically what we do is that, you know, we, uh, uh, as per the milestones, you know, we always invoice uh, to our customers and we had achieved the milestones as per the work order and uh, the, the payments because of some certain disputes had uh, not come in and as a matter of fact, you know, as prudence because you know, what happens is that we pay the taxes, you have to pay taxes, it's a huge amount and the taxes, uh, you know, comes under the time barring uh, uh, issue. So we had to, you know, take it up but however the opportunity we still believe uh, is, continues to exist though it is, uh, uh, you know, in the coming uh, year. So what is the likelihood of, uh, you know, these, uh, the CEO is becoming irrecoverable? Is there a light possibility or I can just get deferred? Uh, what we what we are seeing is that you know this uh, we have actually restated this for the last year and you know we these these uh, revenues uh, will come in in the coming years you know the revenue opportunity has not been lost. 
Okay, and uh, the other question is that why is it that every like quarter there is some announcement that uh, regarding the tie-up with some big, you know, MNC or XYZ company, but I mean that it, it doesn't always show in the revenue. So yeah, I mean, since the past three quarters, it's been happening, so which is quite concerning. Uh, yeah, I think it's a very good question, you know, Mr. Kushal. The thing is that you have to appreciate that, you know, we, uh, for an enterprise product, the, the business is that, you know, the, the selling cycles are very, very long, okay? And uh, what is happening is world over, we are under, uh, world over, uh, a good part of the large enterprises thing is selling cycles are long, it takes it, but once we acquire a customer, you know, he starts contributing revenue for AMC's operation support, you know, professional services and so on and so forth. But, uh, and there is, uh, the, and the world is moving towards the cloud, uh, cloud uh, aspect of the business. So what happens in cloud is your revenues, uh, uh, you know, don't see them up until unless you have multiple of them adding up. Uh, you know, if you've seen Adobe also, they said, you know, once they got into the entire thing of complete cloud, they said that till next three years you will not uh, see us see uh, the break even. So we are also, you know, working on this because the whole world is moving towards cloud. And I, we just made an announcement in this uh, results that we have acquired one of the world's largest uh, satellite company uh, on cloud. And uh, the good part of the cloud thing is that it is predictable, it is assured, and you know it, it can it can uh, it is all about uh, uh, a certain break-even point, but you know it adds up to the bottom line straight away. Yeah, but I mean there are so many cloud companies. So what is uh, uh, I mean the differentiating factor that would you know like put us apart from the clutter? Yeah, from the clutter. The point is that in our space, we don't have uh, uh, many companies on cloud. Enterprise business integrating with their, uh, you know, their core systems uh, and, you know, fetching data. This is a, it is a hybrid kind of a model which, which has to happen. And uh, we are the people, we have pioneered uh, and we have we've made it successful. In fact, uh, the satellite company had, we could not believe that, uh, you know, we had to go through the pilot POC even for a, a cloud uh, requirement. Typically cloud like ERPs or DMS or any one of these things, you know, you just log in, sign up, use it for 30 days, then, you know, start pay, paying. But in, in our uh, uh, thing, the value is also much better. Uh, the the challenge also is of integrating into the core system. And uh, so lastly, uh, when do we get to see like the actual growth growth that we've been expecting since a very long time? Yeah, see the point is that you know we had a as, as you know that we had a Black Swan event uh, last this year and you know it's not it's, I am very confident despite that you know. It's a huge uh, re re revenue which was supposed to come in for uh, for us, and uh, uh, you know, despite that, by end of this year, I'm, I'm very confident that we'll be uh, profitable both on EBITDA and uh, net profit. And you know, and uh, if we, once this thing gets resolved, and we are, which we are very confident of, and uh, you will see a massive up uh, upside. Fine, sir. That's it from my side. I'll queue up for next questions. Sir. Thank you, sir. We have next question from the line of Ajaz Lakhani from MMST. Please go ahead. So, hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good, good, afternoon. Yeah. good afternoon, Ajaz. Uh, so, again, my empathy is with the challenging situation that you are placed in. Uh, having said that, I just want some clarity that we are already in the implementation of the phase two for the managed service contract. Yes. Uh, see, what it, it is, uh, we are pursuing, there have been, you know, you, uh, what has happened is being a public sector enterprise, it has its own challenges, uh, but we are all, we are very confident of getting over it, both for phase one and phase two. Uh, phase one, uh, phase two partially has been uh, implemented. There are many things in phase, phase two. There's loyalty management, there's coupons, advertisements, and all of that. Uh, uh, so we are uh, at this moment, you know, we have com completed the billing advertisements, uh, the, the e-bills, and those those part of it. 
and we are pretty confident that uh, you know it's a, it's a contractual obligation for them also to see ensure that uh, they close this and uh, move, move it and we are the entire uh, we are completely focused to see that we resolve this and move forward and i also i i get it yeah as, as a part as a part of phase 2 just to kind of build on what shakti has been saying as a part of phase 2 a lot of uh, uh, implementation is being done that test invoices uh, have also been uh, sent out and so to kind of uh, uh, iron out the entire process of invoicing for the future what we uh, we've also uh, invoice them for the test invoices that uh, uh, have gone out and uh, gone out into the customers uh, to two customers so uh, so, it is not so, so it is, uh, the value the value probably is not relevant and significant at this point in time but to kind of iron out the entire process okay. itself uh, uh, we have also invoiced them for all the customer invoices that have been sent out okay okay and sir just on the second point uh, regarding that uh, uh, the prior period item so that 10.5 crore of invoice essentially it is not written off it is uh, i mean it has been withdrawn and you are going to uh, raise it again after a particular period uh, yes the, that is the, the we will take it as, as it comes to the company. yeah so, so the opportunity the opportunity continues to exist what was the worry that we were have, uh, having was because we, we we had invoiced it and paid duties and taxes against it uh, beyond beyond a certain point in time uh, we would have lost the opportunity in the, if i were to probably claim back that tax and so we we took the decision consciously uh, that uh, hey, we restate this and at least claim the taxes and duties back okay okay but you will raise this bill with them uh, again in this year or the next yes okay so this this much this 11 crore is not a right off per se no it is not it is not a loss of opportunity it is the the from a technical perspective it is restated for the last year's uh, uh, numbers financial numbers of last year have been restated it is not okay. impacting the financial year it is not impacting the current financial year uh, we restated the last uh, last year statement and we are seeking a refund of uh, duty paid okay 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 and the 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 settlement for the 10.5 crores uh, will be raised in the next year or this year again you know we are uh, still battling with that since it's a disputed thing it will okay. be it should come in uh, next year only okay okay fine and sir uh, just want to check that the entire company's bandwidth is is still uh, i mean i mean is most of your bandwidth being occupied in the managed service contract or there is some time for the bandwidth you know i'll be lying if i say that it is not uh, you know our bandwidth is not occupied you know the point is that it's such a big deal for us it's a game changing deal yeah. for us of course uh, our bandwidth has been gone in but however you know we have taken the very prudent steps of not uh, you know you know where uh, we had uh, to take steps in 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 terms of uh, increasing our opportunities in the cloud side we have gone about it it, it is the you it, the result of which is what you have seen uh, uh, in the in the large satellite company yeah. coming in we are hoping to see that you know some large opportunities in uh, europe fructify this quarter okay also okay. uh, just uh, last 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 quarter you mentioned that you were going to do you had uh, given them the how do you say the aadhar linking as a part of the package so uh, that has already been implemented or is going to be implemented it is been implemented it has been rolled out uh, in 15 listing but they are also continuing you know they they are continuing to use another application which is there which is the dispute which is which is going on the point is that what has happened is that the current process is there is something called re-verification or the aadhar linking of old customers right see that has come in as a as a show stopper for us because that was not a line item in the tender okay so, okay so, so we don't despite we, we we have to gone back to them and told them that we will do that free of cost as part of the overall package right right some of the guys, some of the guys had not uh, taken it favorably but we are we we had cup, many committees were formed and typical public sector thing of you know doing it but we are seeing some resolution coming to it sooner Okay. So okay. And when you say we continue to uh, we continue to invest in in that particular uh, account, uh, uh, 
despite and you know uh, uh, despite that we are cash profitable you know if you take ytd and uh, once that start contributing okay, you definitely can see a good up but this yeah, i understand Right. So, sir, uh, you see all of this being resolved under this financial year, or it will spill over into the next year? We are, we are hoping uh, that it will happen uh, in this financial year. We have targeted ourselves. We have also given them the ultimatum also to see that. Okay. You know, so, sir, if you were to attach a probability to it being solved in this year, uh, uh, you would say, say, 60, 70 percent, there's a chance. Yes, more than uh, 70 percent, I would say. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for that. And sir, just one last question. Uh, from the receivables of the half year, which were at around uh, 36 crore, uh, what would be the receivable position as on day? Uh, I uh, I exactly don't have the the, the number now. I just I'll I will provide you that. No problem. No, no, no. Okay, sir. Thank. Thank you, Mr. Lakhani. We have a next question from the line of Shri Hari Srinivas, individual investor. Please go ahead. Oh, yes, hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, Srinivas. Yes, yes. So I have a couple of uh, you know, like basic questions on the financial statements. Uh, so you have posted uh, 32 crores in revenues in the last nine months. Okay. My question is, what percentage of these revenues are from annuities and what percentages of these revenues are from new license uh, contracts? Uh, I would say it, uh, more than 90% uh, of them are uh, uh, annuity revenues, and uh, the balance is, uh, uh, you know, the new new contract license. Got it. Got it. Now I was looking at your annual report uh, from last year, and uh, uh, you had, I think, around 26 crores in annuities in fiscal year 2017. Uh, you have mentioned that annu annuity revenues are on track, so I'm assuming that this fiscal year also you would attain around 46 crores in annuities. Is that correct? Yes, we we are on target uh, for that. The problem, but, but what happens is that you know, as per new accounting standards, a lot of annuity revenues, uh, you know, uh, have to be recognized, uh, deferred. So that could have a slight impact, but otherwise uh, we are on track, absolutely on track. We, as we add any new customer, it adds to our uh, annuity revenues and your uh, other uh, service revenues. In fact, even, even in this current uh, quarter, uh, uh, there is annuity revenue which is accrued and probably money is uh, being received, but they will get recognized uh, in the subsequent quarter. So if you take that amount, uh, uh, if you take that uh, amount of 2.8 crores which we have already received payments, you know, we would be, uh, we would be in, in uh, we will not be in negative uh, what we have stated. But however, due to accounting standards, you know, we have to re recognize them on a quarterly basis. Those agreements with our customers had been that, you know, 100 percent advance. Okay, got it. Okay. And uh, can you share some details on how much revenues or subsidiaries have earned during this fiscal year? Um, I'm asking this question because last year, I think, uh, at least from a financial statement standpoint, your subsidiaries did not have any revenues. Yeah, see, uh, the point is that the UK, as I mentioned, always, uh, you know, has been a... Uh, Actually, uh, we have these subsidiaries created primarily, you know, for reasons for having our talent uh, being there. You know, if you are not a 100% subsidiary, you can't get the visas for the trained resources on our products and platforms. So that's one of the reasons which is done. The major customer in Europe for us has been uh, a large uh, one of the world's largest uh, telecom operator with whom we have a global agreement with Luxembourg. So all the invoices, invoicing happens to the parent company. The only the expenses happen there in uh, uh, the UK subsidiary. Whereas in the US, what happens is that, you know, we, uh, US company invoices directly to the end customers and we do a, a transfer price as per the statutory guidelines of 90% uh, to the subsidiary. So if you really look at it from that perspective, uh, I would say that it will take a long time for the subsidiaries to break even. Okay, okay. The, and it is, yeah. Okay. And uh, I have a, you know, like a, a question on the managed services contract. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need uh, more clarity on the revenue model as such, and let me explain where I'm coming from. 
Uh -huh. uh, because in one point you have mentioned that you know this is a 150 crore contract spread over six years, uh, but during the last conference call you have also said that phase one and phase two comprises of transaction based orders and that there is a profit sharing component. Yeah. So what exactly yeah. is the revenue model here? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. The thing is that uh, uh, there is uh, a component uh, one where we whenever we onboard a customer. Uh, we we are paid five rupees ten NP, and there are three categories of customer onboarding. You know, with uh, a physical cap, with uh, Aadhaar, with uh, uh, you know non Aadhaar based uh, thing, and for non Aadhaar based it is three rupees. Apart from that, they have uh, their entire customer uh, data lying across the country, uh, which is about uh, as per the tender, this thing it's about seven point five crores. Of data which needs to get migrated into a centralized, uh, you know, uh, storage system which we have uh, created, uh, complete data center in in their BSNL in in the customer's premises, uh, and the migration of each of these things was supposed to be three rupees uh, per uh, customer. However, uh, we are battling with the dispute of Supreme Court, which says that you know you don't need the old thing, but there is a lot of other statutory agencies like NIA, uh, Home Home Ministry, uh, and other departments where they would they, there is guidelines to see that these data is maintained for seven years. Okay, so they need to get into a centralized uh, place. Currently, they are stored in in uh, you know in, in the individual circles and uh, thing in 20, 21 locations in a very very haphazard way. Uh, which is very risky to the, uh, the because you know customer profile data when you are talking about high VIPs and all of them is is a data security issue which we have taken it up seriously. Mm -hmm. This is as far as the phase one is concerned. Phase two comprises of our uh, bread and butter thing about communications. You know we send out all the, the they they have about close to 1.8 crore landline uh, customers, and they have about close to uh, you know 20. 25 lakhs uh, of uh, postpaid customers whom they send out bills. So our, our idea is to see that, you know, we send out uh, digital bills and we also bring in advertisements into the digital bills. And the, if we bring in the advertisements, there is a, whatever, if we get one rupee paid per bill by any of the guys like the, you know, uh, the advertisers, 60 paise would come to us, 40 paise would go to, be, uh, to them. Apart from that, there is a, a, a thing of every communication which goes out, there is a 12, 12 MP, which is the, the, the mobile communication, whether it's, a, uh, you know, WhatsApp or a SMS or a, uh, a push notification, we get 12 MP per, per notification. For example, you know, we've sent out a bill to you, so we think so-and-so bill has been sent out, so for which we get paid 12, 12 by say per uh, uh, for communication. Apart from that, you know, we are uh, we have proposed saying that we will be running a loyalty management uh, system against which we will uh, we will be uh, you know redeeming the loyalty points through selling of coupons. It's a massive, massive business, and we have not uh, put any value to it in in our uh, 150 crores what we have said. So this 150 crores comprises of the migration data and the transaction data purely on the published dates. But the upside of advertisement revenue and all that has been not uh, taken into account. Have I made it clear? Yes, yes. I mean, thank you. Thank you for that uh, information. Uh, one, one last question, sir. So you have said that uh, uh, the resolution looks likely. So I'm looking at, you know, the, the notice that you have sent to the exchange. You have said that uh, phase one revenues resolution looks likely. Uh, in the near future. So just want to get a time frame from you. So would that be during fiscal year? Um, we, are, uh, we are also getting, you know, it is completely, you know, it's hogging up the entire bandwidth. You know, we are continue to invest in, the, in this uh, thing for so long. And we are putting all, all pressure possible. And we are hoping that, you know, we would conclude uh, by within this financial year. And, and uh, of course, there has been some line items like the scanning, which I forgot to mention in the phase one. There is about 7.5 crores of uh, unscanned data which is lying, which needs to get scanned, which they, they, uh, the contention is it will not be required once we do the re-verification, which we are willing to forego. Okay, okay. 
Got it. Yeah, no more questions, sir, and all the best. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have a next question from the line of Anirvan Datta from Jet Edge Securities. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Two questions. One is, you know, you write in the notes to the accounts published that uh, the, the first payment of four and a half crores, you write while the former payment was fully realized. Yeah. So my question is, this has been realized in the current fiscal year, and how, how has this been booked? I mean, in which quarter was it booked, or is it going to be booked in the current quarter? It was uh, realized in the last financial year. Okay. So so that so, so after the restatement, it was realized. I mean, I mean I, I'm not able to understand the restatement, and also the fund that has been realized. Yeah. You no, know, the money has been realized. There is a dispute. These uh, the uh, the there is a dispute related to this uh, four and a half and ten and a half, uh, uh, and you know, and they have asked us to refund that. Uh, I think despite pay, making the payment. So from that perspective, you know, we had to do it. Okay. As the second question is, you know, earlier there was some, I think, you know, uh, keen initiative from your side to look for a strategic partner. So is there yeah. any meaningful progress on that? We are, uh, we are pursuing it. Uh, we continue to pursue it, uh, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, we have just a little slowed down. We have appointed uh, uh, an investment banker. And uh, we are looking for uh, the right partners to uh, write, uh, you know, obviously this is a very critical and important decision for us. Mm -hmm. But what I would like to tell you is that, you know, uh, from a perspective, we are seeing some fantastic uh, traction coming from system integrators. One of the large, very, very large system integrator is even in making an investment and taking us into us uh, putting our uh, solutions in, in mobile the world uh, Mobile World Congress, which is one of the world's largest uh, telecom shows in the world yeah. and, and very expensive. So, you know, the, at this point in time, uh, we are pushing but not very aggressively. We're waiting for a right partner, right this thing, you know, we are not in, not you know, I, I would say that the valuation, the timing has to be right. Okay. And uh, one final question. So what kind of uh, losses do we expect in our subsidiaries for this fiscal, for FI18? A uh, 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 ballpark number? Uh, uh, you know, it, it could be around uh, 5 crores. Okay. Four to, you know, we are also optimizing there. It should be about 4 to 5 crores. Okay. That's fine, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Participants are requested to kindly restrict their questions to two per participant. We have a next question from the line of Mithun Shah, individual investor. Please go ahead. Mr. Shah, your line is unmuted. Please go ahead and ask your question. Thank you. We have next question from the line of Kushal K, individual investor. Please go ahead. I think Mr. Kushal has already spoken. Yeah. Is, is this a follow-up question? Is it a follow-up yes. question? Yes, yes. Yeah, Kushal. So regarding uh, our, uh, the, the big contract with the telecom company, mm -hmm. so uh, recently I had read uh, somewhere that, you know, it might be optional to link it with Ada. So what's your say on that? Like, uh, currently they're saying it's mandatory, but I'd read articles where they're also considering uh, the it, 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 it will be very good for us because yeah, all, Shah, if it becomes, if it becomes um, uh, optional, then it works in our favor because then uh, uh, my, my platform starts getting used. Uh, my, my, we have three lines of uh, thing, you know, which physical well, uh, also it will be like a as, deep per contract, as per contract. The physical cap management and the uh, other base and uh, 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 you know you scan this thing. All the three lines will will be will be in use. So we don't uh, get to lose anything in that. But 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 that will also result into reduced revenues. No 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 no. We have the uh, contractually we have the line item for that because this particular uh, contract was finalized much before this uh, Supreme Court order which came in. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, uh, yeah, that's it for my side. Thank you, sir. We have a follow-up question from the line of Ajas Lakhani from MMSD. Please go ahead. Yeah, so just want to check with you that after probably once the 
dust settles on the manufacturer's contract, I'm sure that lots of other PSUs have opportunities. Are we going to pursue any further opportunities in the PSU space? Chief, if we had the bandwidth and if we had the required, as I always keep saying, you know, one of our biggest uh, problems is we have got a great technology, great solution. Yes. We thing, but then, you know, we require enough good, massive capital. One, one PSU itself has drained us so much. If, if we have some decent capital infusion, definitely there are massive opportunities. Trust me, GST, you know, the, just our uh, robotic process automation uh, reconciliation is a very, very powerful tool for financial reconciliation for GST, which we are just, you know, trying to seek an appointment and go about it, uh, go and uh, do it. The, there are several, several opportunities like that. You know, you can imagine, you know, we have only one sales guy in the U.S. U.S. is a massive uh, country. Uh, Europe, we have only one sales guy. Uh, we are, then what happened is that, you know, because of this investment into this large, uh, this thing, these uh, constraints in investment had come in. We hope to get over it and, you know, we hope to start, uh, you know, investing in the, in the right places. Not only in the large, large PSUs, cloud and the uh, US and Europe markets. In fact, uh, Ajaz, uh, all, most of the PSUs and the government uh, institutions and uh, are corporate customers of BSNL themselves. And so when, when this entire deal was being put together, conversations also revolved around uh, the, the platform not only serving BSNL but also the, uh, and uh, uh, probably extending to the uh, PSU customers. Okay, okay. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Dr. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question. I now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all of you, for taking time to participate in this uh, stunning call. Really appreciate your time. We really look forward to uh, being in touch and uh, seeing that, you know, we uh, uh, together as all investors, you know, prosper in, in, in taking this company forward. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen.